away from the home I was sent to China and in China my grandparents they raised me for eight years but my grandfather was really harsh with me every time he'd speak to me he'd hit me on my head and my face and my grandfather was a grand master in Kung Fu my grandfather taught me as a child how to fight and he treated me like an animal. I began to fight in the World Championships and from 1987 to 1989, I held the world title for three years. I, I was working at this point as an instructor. I would teach people how to do Kung Fu and I, I was also working as a bodyguard. The best part of my life was meeting a girl her name was Aya, but when I was working in another country, she was killed in a car crash. And uh, she was killed by drunk drivers. When I received that news, I got really angry, and I, I turned very violent. And as a bodyguard, I killed people unnecessarily. I'm so ashamed, I wish I could turn the clock back. The police, they arrested me and they put me in prison. I'm telling you, I deserved to be there because I was a scum. But one day, one man, he wrote to me. He was a Christian missionary. His name was Michael, Michael Wright. He said, I want to help you. I want to write to you, send you maybe money or books or visit you. And after six months of visiting me, on the 3rd of May, 1990, one of my friends in the courtyard, he had his face cut in a revenge attack. His face was damaged. I was very angry, and I was going to the visit room to see Michael. I was going there a little bit crazy. I was going to hit him because I was stupid. But on that day, I didn't touch him because on that day, Michael explains to me a few things about God. Michael said to me, God, he loves us. He's like a loving daddy in heaven. He loves every single one of us so much that he sent his own son, Jesus Christ, to come to the world to be the only person to ever live a perfect life. Then to die a cruel, painful death on a cross to take the punishment that we deserve for breaking his laws. So that if we can do two things, two things, we can be forgiven. The two things we gotta do is number one, we must be willing to turn away from the bad things in life and say sorry to Jesus. The second thing, we must surrender to Jesus. He said to me, Tony, you've been putting your world championship in Kung Fu, sex, drugs, violence, anger, even your religion as a Buddhist. But you've never tried Jesus Christ. Amen. And then Michael read to me from the Bible. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave to sin. A slave has no permanent place in a family, but a son belongs to a family forever. So if the Son of God, Jesus Christ, sets you free, you shall be free indeed. I went back to my prison cell and my bars on my window, I was looking at it, it was not like this, we had a big cross shape. That night, as I looked at my cross, 
I realized how I can know Jesus, not with my eyes, but by with having faith. This night, I turned and surrendered to Jesus. And friends, my life changed. And I should be dead today, but I'm alive because of Jesus. Now I want to ask you a question. If you died tonight, where would you go? Heaven or hell? If anybody today would like to turn and surrender their life to Jesus, I want you to raise your hand. Raise your hand and stick it out of the window. Raise your hand and show to Jesus that you want to do those two things.